it's going to take people like me and others to really tell their stories in order for people to realize what's going on and to start recognizing the women that deserve to be recognized. My name is AJ Andrews. I'm a professional softball player and the very first woman to ever win a Rollins Gold Glove. Softball was really a sport where I've had that true connection because it was just fun from the start. I think as a kid, I was super competitive. I loved winning, but softball, I really just had a great time. And over the course of playing is when that competitive energy came out and I wanted to win. Went on to play college ball and now a professional athlete. When I found out about the possibility of winning Rollins Gold Glove, I honestly did not think that it was going to be up to the same standard as the Major League Baseball players. I thought maybe this was going to be some female Gold Glove award, something completely separate from what Major League Baseball players get. And the difference with Major League Baseball is they give a Rollins Gold Glove to every position. That's nine Rollins Gold Gloves. But for softball, it was only going to be given to one person. So you have to differentiate between an outfielder, a pitcher, the catcher, etc. So it was truly the best on the field period when it came to a woman winning it for the very first time. It just all of a sudden hit me that the person that wins this is really going to make history. They're really gonna change the course, not just of softball, but really of women's sports in general. And they're gonna be one of the first people to break through that glass ceiling. My nerves just really went wild. You know, I wanted to win it, but I wasn't excited about it. And I remember sitting at the table right as they're about to announce who's gonna win. And I was thinking in my head, you know, I was thinking the different other people that were up for the, the award and I was just hearing their name. I wasn't hearing my name because I didn't want the disappointment. And then all of a sudden they said my name and it's almost like it was a cloud, it was a blur and I didn't even realize my name was called until one of my teammates had shrugged me. It's like, AJ, hey, it's you. And uh, I just walked up and I was crying, tears in my eyes, because this was truly a huge moment, not just for softball again, but for women in sports. You know, aside from the attention you know, that you get from being a first, which in reality, it's not as big as you would think it would be. You hear any man breaking this record, right? A man breaking history, it's gonna be all over the news. It's gonna be all over every station, social media, you're going to know about it. Not very many people knew that the very first woman had won a wrong school glove. I even went to the wrong school glove dinner, award dinner, where the Major League Baseball players received their award. and. A lot of people were surprised I was there. I gave my speech, I said a lot of things, and what really hit home for me was a reporter asked me if I felt like I was intimidated being around all these Major League Baseball players. And, you know, obviously I was extremely offended. I tried to keep it classy. My response was, no, I am here because I am an elite athlete. Just like all these men, I deserve to be here, and I'm gonna walk up on that stage because I did a damn good job and I'm the first woman to run a wrong school glove. From that moment is when I just felt this responsibility to continue to tell that story. People need to know that a woman had won this award. They need to know that more women will win this award. And the respect for softball, the respect for women in sports needs to grow. It's going to take people like me and others to really tell their stories in order for people to realize what's going on and to start recognizing the women that deserve to be recognized. It's so interesting being a woman in sports because no matter how dominant you are, no matter how good you are, no matter how much you prove yourself, there's gonna be somebody saying, oh, well, a guy could have done this. She wouldn't have been able to do that in baseball. She wouldn't be able to hit that in football. It would just be exceptional if a man did it. But there's always this ands, ifs, or buts when a woman does something exceptional. To the point where it's almost comical, and I feel like people need to start creating new material, like the content's getting old, because these women are not stopping, right? We're gonna keep going. So if you feel like you have things to say, you feel like you wanna make up all this crazy stuff that you think is funny, uh, I think that you need to be a little more creative because we're just getting better. Women are continuing to show up and to show out. I think regardless of what sport you play, you know, I think you have a lot of couch coaches and there's nothing you can say to a couch coach but continue eating your potatoes. I mean, it's funny because you have male athletes always praising these women for their successes because they know how hard it is. So when you hear people talking about women and talking about how our successes are not as great as a man's, uh, all I have to say is come challenge me. My hope for the future for the women in sports is to dominate 
Never be afraid to show your muscles. Never be afraid to go all out. Never be afraid to be called manly. Don't be afraid of what people are gonna say about you or how you're doing something. You keep being exceptional. You keep being that athlete that is breaking those barriers because you are now pulling someone else along and allowing them to feel like they can do it as well. I think that me being proud of how I look as an athlete, me proud of what I do as an athlete allows someone else to do the same thing. Play like a girl! My name's AJ Andrews and I'm breaking it down.